points to emotionally commit to an action and apply a four-step motivational method with the purpose of persuading and inspiring. And actually, you kind of did that. So let me go through what you I didn't notice. did without knowing. <laughs> Get attention, create vivid pictures, dramatize, and call for action. And you met all those without knowing it to varying degrees. A great device at the beginning to get attention is to ask questions, and that's what Marty did. How many of you have a bucket list? How many of you have it with you? How, much, how many of you have shared that with another individual? So we got our attention. Great vivid pictures. I think you could have done a little better job of that with the car de de a detailer, with the rodeo. There are a lot of vivid kind of images and pictures that you could have developed with that. Uh, dramatizing it. You had a couple of good stories in there that were really good, so I, I give you high marks on that. And the call for action was excellent at the very end. So all of those you did very well. You have a great pace about your speaking. It's conversational. It's not too fast. It's not too slow. People can understand you. You're articulate. So your pace is excellent, and so keep up with that. The voice inflection. It's conversational. It goes up, it goes down. It's natural a couple of times your voice kind of goes to an area where probably it shouldn't go uh, on, the, on the high end. Uh, but uh, the voice inflection is, is terrific. The word usage, conspiracy afoot. I like that. And uh, I was actually around when Mr. <coughs> Wagner said, Mattery Nabob's negativity. <laughs> he wasn't born yet. <laughs> Had the hands issue a little bit. We've been talking about this the last couple of meetings, where at the beginning you kind of do this, you do the hand tent, and then a little bit of this, which I was a little bit surprised. And then you kind of had the relationship with the lector here. You didn't really, I expected you to move around a little bit more, but you were pretty much stationary right here throughout the speech. I somewhat have a personal preference when it comes to speeches and really thinking about what the objective is, what is that one thing that you really want to accomplish with that speech, and then thoroughly examining and going deep with the speech rather than going wide without much depth. And so I think you could have done this speech and have it be specifically around the rodeo and just told the entire story of the rodeo and get the smell and the pictures and all of the different things that you would be able to communicate through that one story about the rodeo, and then really hit it hard with the bucket list at the end. So otherwise, without knowing it, was something that you put together in the car on the way over here? Actually, in my closet this morning, I was trying to decide what to wear, and I saw this, and I went, oh, there's a speech. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are good that way. No, Marty? I'm not kidding. That's what I <laughs> Great job. Thank you.